What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leg here, representing Team JVS. I'm back here again for another TV show review. Um, the name of the show is called The Blood of Zeus. It's eight episodes. It is based on um, the mythology and the recounting of Zeus, his children, his heritage, Mount Olympus, and then, of course, the mortals that surround it. Now, uh, the synopsis reads this. A commoner living in ancient Greece, Heron, discovers his true heritage as the son of Zeus and his purpose to save the world from a demonic army. Now, this is my thing about this uh, initially. Um, I, from a concept standpoint, it was rated R. I knew it was going to be, you know, unrelenting. I was kind of thinking uh, Immortals with Henry Cavill, but in anime form. Um, one thing I didn't necessarily like was the animation, unfortunately. It just didn't flow naturally to me. Um, a lot of times it kind of felt like scenes were kind of like really choppy or blocky. It was stopping and it was going, stopping and it was going. The action scenes, when action scenes were actually happening, of course it was natural. Like, I mean, the the deaths were just gruesome. Like, it, it, it was some really dope action shots and they were unrelenting like they weren't holding back on anything but the natural scenes with persons just moving or talking or just their mannerisms it just felt very flat unfortunately um the other thing about it is that the the sound design the sound design from when you hear the first episode you're gonna i almost was kind of just like uh, i don't know if i want to see this uh it was that um it just didn't go anywhere. It fell flat. Like, it wasn't anything, like, when there was, like, somebody, like, thrusting a sword or grunting or something like that. It just, the sound design was just totally off. Sound mix was really off. Now, the back half of the season, like, last, what, I'll say three or four episodes, the, the soundtrack does pick up. It is an actual score in the soundtrack. And I think that it does work. But if I went off the merits of the first episode or second episode, this... Everything about the first episode honestly doesn't push me to want to see any more. The only reason why I was like, well, I got to see where the story actually goes so I can give you guys a clear and concise review of everything that's going to happen. Um, the other thing about this is that in the very beginning, like when you get the Heron, his mom, and Zeus, and the surrounding situation, like I had, there wasn't any kind of connective tissue. I didn't feel for anything. It wasn't like, even with the Immortals movie, like, or if you go to any of the other ones, like Hercules or something like that, you, you off-rip feel for the characters. Now, the circumstances happening around Haran and his mom and everything like that, it is sad. It is really messed up. And they go and they double down on that pretty heavy within the first two or three episodes. It's like, really bad. Um, but I don't start feeling things until... I want to say like episode three or four when you get to um, the actual antagonist or Heron's true heritage and the circumstance behind that and what all of that centered around or even like his mother. Like I, I didn't start feeling things until much later on. Uh, it was like to the point that when things were happening to Heron, I was kind of like, oh, you ain't going to apologize for that. You're not going to say anything like there's one character that I almost wrote the character off. Um, let me make sure I get it. This is uh, Jessica Henwick's character, Alexia. I was just like, I don't care for your character because you've already shown me you don't have any kind of empathy or concern, but you seem like you were an Amazonian warrior, you know what I'm saying? And her character does grow, but it's like the foundation is where all of the characters technically start from. It's non-existent. I think the only character that has a very interesting um, beginning and end would be, well, two. I'll say Hera and Zeus. They have a very interesting arc. And I think that probably Heron's mana, mother as well, um, has a really interesting arc in this one. As far as the voice actors are concerned, I think that Jason Amara does a great job as Zeus for sure. Um, this is Derek Phillips, uh, Jessica Henrik, as I said before. Uh, any other notable names? Mm, not too many big or notable names. Uh, you also got Claudia Christine. Um, but the voice acting in this for everybody else, it 
it's really nothing special. There are some good moments of um, shock and like messed up things that happen, but those are more emotive, not necessarily like you 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 gravitating towards a character necessarily. And I think part of that is where they were actually written or directed um, in terms of where the characters are going, what's their motivations, what they're doing, because you just kind of like block, 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 go. Block, 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 go. All right? You got something that's in your way. You have to push through it. Go, 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 go. It wasn't literally, I, I'm so serious, I hate to keep saying it, reiterate it, but it wasn't until like around the fourth or fifth episode that I was kind of like, oh, okay. I'm behind this. I got to see where this is going to go. Oh, man, that's messed up. Another thing about the writing and the scripting for this one is that most of the characters make very dumb decisions. Or the... The theme surrounding certain characters is illogical. There's something that happens to the character Haran early on, and I was like, you know, you should have died. But then you get into this kind of altercation, and you're really bad off. I, I just really, for the life of me, cannot, do not understand them beating around the bush with Haran as a character the first four episodes. It just, I, I don't, I don't know what they. I, don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. It just kind of, it doesn't help the narrative. Whereas you have a character um, like uh, Sarah Fim, who honestly has the most character-driven prospect. Like, he's got a, a, he's got a focal point. Like, he has an understanding of things. Like, he is unrelenting. In even the way he feels or the actions that he does, like he he has real true meat to his character. Um, that is probably I don't say the saving grace because the back half again the back half really does do some really interesting things with all the characters all around. Even like a character like Hera who in the beginning I was kind of like, eh. and they really do something with her character and do something with Zeus's character. Um, what else can I speak on with this? Personally, I think that the show's animation, if it was better, could have saved face for a lot of the different circumstances that I'm talking about right now. Because if you have a show that looks amazing and you know it, it doesn't have any kind of limitations, it's completely rated R, you could have something pretty epic. And you kind of whittle your way through and move into a second season. This, I, I'll say that there is hints all over the place. Uh, for a possible second season. Um, but it does end in tragedy. It does end in a lot of death. For sure. So keep that in your head. Before going starting this. Do I say that this is merited for you to see this show? Um, there's Personally I don't think there's a rush to see it. Um, I think that you can become entertained. Towards certain halves. Uh, the back half of the season. With certain episodes. But the first three or first two episodes. You may just be like, I can't do this. And I, I would suggest you continue to kind of go through if you start to see maybe there's something you like about it. Um, but for me, I just, unfortunately, couldn't get behind this show that much. I will check out a second season, but I'm going to leave this at a 6 or a 5.5. I'll leave it a 6 out of 10. Um, because, it, again, the back half, I really was into it and seeing where it was going to go, but... I just felt like it was fleeting a lot of the times and the decisions that were made for the characters as well as the way that they're written, it just did not bode well for the rest of this at all for me. And I don't know, I, I, if you got to have something like either one, you're attached to the characters and you don't want anything to happen to them and you love the characters. I didn't love any of the characters, even throughout the whole entire show. I, there's not one character I really truly loved. Um, no character was memorable whatsoever. Um, animation wasn't serviceable so it wasn't like I was like man I gotta see this next scene this next shot like I would wait for the action moments to happen I'd be like oh that's crazy but it wasn't like eye catching and I mean the score and mixing that's, that's, that's semantics but if you have something that was written in a certain kind of way I think that there were bullet points that I thought were very interesting and intriguing when it came to like the character Seraphim, um, when it came to like um, Heron's mom, when it came to like character like Hera, like there there's 
stuff there. There's there's writings there. Um, and even like there's characters that I found really interesting, like some of the gods, I was like, oh, okay. But you don't start off with them, so you can't, it's hard to sit there and gravitate towards where they are and what their motivations are, what what they're all about. Like, you got a character like, let's say, uh, Ares, for instance, who's like the best fighter or whatever. And like, you see different glimpses of him doing stuff with Zeus or whatever, and then things happen later on, and you're like, well, why'd you make that decision? You have no idea. It just happens, and you just got to go along with it, and I just don't like that, unfortunately. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this review, though. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to be releasing this probably on Wednesday, even though I've already finished it um, as of, what, Tuesday? Or was it Monday? I can't remember. Anyway, talk to you guys later. <laughs> Keep it locked. JBS Wing will stop. Peace, guys.